golden sand dunes and desert, ancient fortresses and mega palaces, traditional folk music and dances, unique culture, fairs and festivities. Ingrained with Ganga Yamuni cultural values is the colourful Rajasthan. Today, country's biggest state is decked with orchards, gardens and greens all over. State's more than 60% population depends on agriculture. Sorghum, Millets, Maize, Cluster Bean, Mustard, Gram, Barley, Wheat and Cotton are the main crops. Oranges, Pomegranates, Berries, Guava, Amla, Kinao, Mosambi, Tomatoes, Chilies and other vegetables are also grown as horticultural crops. Deserts are blooming with new crops of olives, dates and coloured capsicum. Horticultural crops here have the potential of increasing farmers' incomes in a sustainable way. Everyone is familiar with the shortage of water resource in the state. Rajasthan holds 10% of country's land and 5% of country's population has hardly 1% of water resources. Yet, in the field of agriculture, farmers here have made the state among the top ranking states of the country. States only 35 to 38 percent agricultural land could be brought under irrigation. The electric or diesel pumps are being extensively used for pumping water for irrigation purposes and both of these energy resources are full of complexities. Providing electricity on time to thousands of farmers in this vast and remote desert land is a challenge. In most villages, hardly four to six hours of electricity could be supplied alternatively in the day or night. Diesel-based water pumps are very expensive and maintaining them too is a costly affair. Diesel pumps cause environmental pollution. There is a diesel pump, a diesel engine and then there is an impeller and there is a punk. So there is a football down there. There is something wrong with it. So there is a mystery. If there is no complaint, there is no problem. Realizing agricultural hardships by the farmers, Rajasthan government's Department of Horticulture came up with a practical solution, solar pumps. For the local climatic conditions, solar pumps are very useful because in Rajasthan, out of 365 days, one gets excellent bright sunny days for approximately 325 days. Here, solar rays have the excellent energy values. Seeing the conducive conditions in the state during the year 2008-2009, a unique experiment was initiated in the state's 14 government farms. The results were replicated successfully in the fields of 34 farmers in the year 2010-2011 as a pilot project. Encouraged by this success, the very next year, 1,675 solar water pumps were installed in 14 districts of the state. Soon, everyone started realizing the benefit of 
सोलर पंप सोलर आने के बाद तो ये मान लो कि खेती के हमारे सारे संकट दूर हो गए दूर कैसे हो गए कि हमें बिजली की तरफ देखना ही नहीं था सुबह सूरज उदय होते ही हम लोग इसको चालू कर देते हैं ड्रिप हमारे लगी हुई है जिन ब्लॉक में हमने चलाना है उन ब्लॉक में चला देते हैं उसके दिन उसके बाद हम लोग अपने अन्य खेती के कार्य कर लेते हैं डिमांड फॉर द सोलर वाटर पंप स्टार्ट जूमिंग उन किसानों से फीडबैक लिया उनसे मिला फिर हमने अप्लाई किया हुआ है अब मंशा ये रखते हैं कि इनकी बार हमारे को सोलर मिलना चाहिए In the year 2012-2013, government made special provisions in the state budget for mass installation of solar water pumps. For this, the state made a record target of installing 4,500 solar water pumps in all 33 districts. Realizing the popularity of solar water pumps, the government has made an ambitious target of installing 10,000 pumps in the current financial year 2013-2014. These solar panels directly produce energy with the help of these solar cells. AC or DC motors are connected with this, which in turn helps pump water by solar energy. The DC motor is so effective that it starts working with the early morning sun rays itself while AC motors have to wait a little while longer for brighter sun. Iski jo sabse badhiya baat mere ko lagi wo ye hai ki ye mere hi khet mein laga hua hai main hi iski bijli paida karta hu suraj se aur main hi isko kaam mein leta hu. Before installing solar pumps a team of technical experts do a survey of location for deciding the number of solar panels needed as well as the capacity of the pumps depending on the panel design sizes a strong concrete base of six pillars is provided so that in the event of furious winds or storms they remain firmly grounded at their places Solar pumps are fitted with manual or auto trackers for synchronization with the shifting directions of the sun. With this, solar panels capture sun rays continuously and keep generating energy. These auto trackers have increased the potential of solar pumps manifold. Solar water pumps are of two types one which can be installed above water surface and submersible pump which work under the water submersible pumps can pump from 240 meters depth up to 90000 liters of water per day hamare jo panels kase hue hain isme kisi prakar ki चोरी की वारदात नहीं हो इसके लिए इसमें एंटी थेप्ट नट लगवाए गए हैं इसकी हर एक पैनल पे एक सीरियल नंबर होता है यूनिक सीरियल नंबर और आरएफआईडी भी इसमें डलाया हुआ है जिससे कि किसी प्रकार से इसका मिसयूज नहीं हो और हर एक पैनल पर परियोजना का नाम और किस वर्ष ये सप्लाई हुआ है वो भी वर्ष अंकित है तो इससे काफी हद तक ये सेफ्टी हो जाती है कोई इसका दुरुपयोग नहीं कर सके These measures have provided much needed security to solar pumps. Solar water pumps have negligible number of parts to take care of and that's why its upkeep is easy. Farmers themselves can clean the solar panels. What we have done is that apart from uh, increasing the maintenance period from 5 years to 10 years, uh, we are also creating a call center. So with this 17000 systems uh, in the field it is going to be one of the largest program in the world so how to uh, operate and how to uh, maintain and how to monitor this system we are now going to take help of the computers and uh, the cloud structures so an mis system uh, management information system is being developed which will have information about the uh, farmers their field the solar system the pump system the the pumps discharge values what it is actually delivering the maintenance schedule all that will be placed in this mis system 
and the controlling will be done uh, by the um, uh, concerned computer experts. Generally, solar water pumps keep functioning effectively for 20 to 25 years without an additional expenditure. For promoting solar pump use among farmers, a huge share of 86% is borne by the government, of which 30% comes from the center's Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, and the remaining 56% is from the state government or from National Agricultural Development Program. Installing solar water pumps in a district, a massive mass media promotion is carried out for seeking applications from the farmers. And if collected applications in a district are more than the allocated numbers, then a lottery process is followed for selecting farmers. <laughs> वहां उसने बताया कि उसमें जमा मंदी लगेगी फोटो लगेगी आपका आईडी प्रूफ लगेगा और उसके साथ 10000 रुपए की डीडी लगेगी तो मैंने ग्राम से उसे लगा के उद्यान विभाग में 10000 के फार्म के साथ डीडी लगा के फार्म भरा और वहां जयपुर जिले में लॉटरी सिस्टम से मेरा नंबर आया फॉर कलेक्टिंग वाटर इन कैनाल एरिया रिजर्वर्स आर कंस्ट्रक्टेड व्हिच आर कॉल्ड डिगीज Water ponds or jalhaws are constructed in areas where wells or tube wells are used. And in hard surface areas, farm ponds and talai are constructed. A very large number of diggies or storage tanks are being constructed by the state government. To check water wastage, and its judicious use, drip irrigation has been made compulsory with the installation of solar pumps. Drip irrigation has helped optimize the water use up to 95%. Besides saving water, drip irrigation has increased productivity, product quality and has boosted farmers' income. Making drip irrigation compulsory has helped save estimated 48 million cubic meters of water, which in turn has helped irrigate additional 12,000 hectares of land in the state. Our objective is to get more from the farm to the farm to the farm and to get more from the farm to the farm and to get more from the farm. For this reason, in this way, जो उसका ड्रिप इरिगेशन है उससे अच्छी फसल हुई है हमने ये बागवानी पे ध्यान दिया और इनकी पहले जहाँ इनकम होती थी इनके चार लाख पाँच लाख रुपए तीस पैंतीस बीघा में तो आज यानी कि अच्छी बीस लाख के लगभग होती है फोर थाउजेंड पम्प्स हैव बीन इंस्टॉल्ड इन 2012-13 अलोन व्हिच अमाउंट्स टू ट्वेल्व मेगा वॉट पार सोलर पम्प यूज हैल्सो हेल्प इन सेविंग ट्वेंटी फोर मिलियन लीटर्स ऑफ डीजल which again is a direct financial benefit to farmers. Besides, it also helps in saving them from electricity supply headaches. Solar pump is not less than for us. It is not less than for us. It is completely free. It is giving us a big job. It is going to run from the morning to the evening. It is not less than for us. We can run all the work from the sun. If we don't have a light, we can run our drip system. सोलर पंप जब से उपयोग में आया है हमारे यहाँ तो उसके बाद में हमारा एक तो डीजल का बचत हो रहा है पहले खुला पानी रात को देना पड़ता था सूर्योदय के होने के बाद में बड़े आराम से दातन कुल्ला करके फिर जाके सोलर चालू किया और पानी दे देते हैं रात को सांप का बिच्छू का डर रहता था टॉर्च लेके खेत में जाना पड़ता था और वो अब नहीं जाना पड़ रहा है फॉर स्प्रेडिंग द यूज ऑफ सोलर पम्प अमंग फार्मर्स राजस्थान गवर्नमेंट हैज प्लान टू इंस्टॉल a hundred thousand solar pumps in the next five years. The whole energy which is uh, there available throughout the day, I'm not sure if it is going to be used for irrigation for throughout the day. So the remaining 
uh, time when the energy is not used uh, for uh, water irrigation, we are going to provide a two-way or a three-way switch by which the energy can be diverted when it is not being used for the uh, pumping of water then it go, can go for home lighting. Women folk, uh, particularly in the villages, can use it for sewing machine. Number of uh, small scale industries, uh, ideas can be developed. So in future, we can even claim carbon credit. And it is possible that if the cost of the carbon credit goes high in the market, then uh, we may perhaps uh, recover the full cost or some part of the cost of the investment which we are making uh, on the solar pumps. Benefits of solar pump use is clearly visible all over Rajasthan. In a dry state like Rajasthan, it is very important to save electricity and water and simultaneously increase your farm yield. The only solution is to install solar water pumps and drip irrigation, which not only saves electricity and water, but also helps in increasing farm yield. Rajasthan has entered the Limka Book of World Records for installing the highest number of solar water pumps in the world. Indeed, Rajasthan's solar pump success is an exemplary story for the whole country.